Hi guys, in today's tutorial we will be continuing with the AI generated effects and today I will show you how to make car sliding or drifting effect with the easiest prompts just in seconds, let's get started. To make those slides or drifts, first we need to save frames from the video. For example, scroll to the part of the video you want and take a screenshot. You can do this using the FX console plugin by clicking on the camera icon, or if you don't have FX console, go to the composition menu, choose save frame as, and select file or photoshop layer and save the frame to your pc in my case i save two frames because i'll be generating two videos you can generate as many as you want as long as you have enough credits on vo3 now comes the most important part of ai generation getting a clean result for this we need a proper prompt which we will generate in chat gpt first i already have a text ready explaining what i need in the prompt so i'll copy it and paste it into chat gpt you can find this text in the video's description if you want to use it. Once ChatGPT gives us the proper prompt, we can copy it. Next go to the Flow Generating AI website by Google. Click on Create with Flow, then click on New Project. From the menu, choose Frames to Video. Click on the plus icon and upload your first screenshot. Crop the image so the car is completely in frame, then click Crop and Save to apply changes. Now adjust the settings. Click on the settings icon and change output per prompt to the number you want. For example, if you need two generations, select two, but remember it will take double the credits. I'll keep it at one for this tutorial. Next click on model and choose VO3 fast for quick generation at 20 credits, or VO3 quality for high quality output at 100 credits. In this case, I'll choose fast. Paste the prompt from ChatGPT, hit enter, and wait for the generation to finish. Once it's done, we can check the result. It looks fun, but I don't like the way it changed the back of the car. Still, it's interesting to test these AI effects. For this tutorial, I'll save that video. Now let's upload the second screenshot and do the same process. This time, I'll adjust the prompt by removing explosions and smoke effects to see what happens. The result looks unrealistic, but still fun. I'll download it and move to After Effects. Since VO3 generated 720p videos, I'll create a new composition in 720p resolution. Then I'll drag and drop the videos from my Downloads folder. I'll speed ramp them quickly to check the result. I'll fast forward this part in the video, and if you're new to AM Film or don't know how to speed ramp, check the link in this video's description for my full speed ramp tutorial. I'm not completely happy with my results, but the second clip came out really good, I like it. Let me also quickly apply a shake effect. I'll use one from the AM Film Shake Pack. You can find the AM Film Shakes linked in this video's description, and you can also check out my shake effect tutorials here on the channel. Looks fun, but I wouldn't even bother rendering this video. I like using AI just for fun, mainly for myself, but I'll repeat what I said in my previous AI tutorial. I don't like or support AI generated effects for my own work. I prefer doing everything manually in After Effects. No matter how clean VO3 can make a video, I still feel something is missing, originality and creativity we create with our own hands. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.